APS students learn to problem solve and explore what is possible. Lisa Gillette, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So why do you like making jewelry? Um, I like making jewelry because it's an opportunity to work uh, with my hands and for students to work with their hands. I feel like that is a crucial part in learning. You know, I think a lot of discoveries are made with our senses, like not always um, taking notes and following directions, but making discoveries um, on our own. I also see my students working in jewelry have like this aha moment of like, I can do this. And it gives them a great deal of confidence. How does facilitating that creativity help them achieve their goals? I, th I think I, I give them just a place to explore. You know, I have guidelines, I have safety rules, they have to have certain criteria, but other than that, they get to make choices. We hear a lot about what are the ingredients for student success, it's supposed to be embodied in our core, common core and testing. What do you think are the elements? of student success? I think it's really important that they, um, you know, reach their academic goals, but also know that their self-worth is so much more than that. Um, and so without directly teaching it, I hope I'm teaching them empathy and sensitivity, and I'm teaching them about forgiveness and compassion and courage, and uh, not to take the easy path. Um, because I don't think anything comes from that. I think in order to grow, you have to um, fail um, time and time again. Is that, do they learn that in your class? Yeah, I don't like the word fail at all, but okay. yes, they make mistakes. And I, and, I, and I congratulate them because I can tell them how to do something. I can show them what works and what doesn't work but it's not going to make an impact until they do it themselves. We try to transform mistakes into um, just take their project in another direction if we can, but sometimes they have to start over completely. Um, and this lesson that a mistake is not a waste of time, mm -hmm. it's, it's part of the process. And all great things, uh, I'm sure were a series of mistakes before they were these amazing discoveries. Thank you, Angelique and Ayana, for being here. So what do you love about making jewelry? I like to incorporate like my background. I'm Native American, so jewelry is like a big um, part of our clothing and um, that's what I started making it for, so I, it would look nice with my outfits I made. And, and the fact that I didn't have to buy it, I could make it my own, it's personalized. Um, just made the way I like it. And I can always add stuff, take stuff off, whatever I choose to do, I can do it. Why did you decide to take the jewelry class? They gave me a list of electives, and I just really didn't know what I wanted to do. So my mom was like, just take jewelry. Like, you always wear it. You like it so much. You never know. You can make it and really like it. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then it just, like, I didn't realize how much it was going to become, like, part of, like, my life as much. Huh, really? Because it really became, like, something I enjoyed to do, something new, mm -hmm. but, like, also really, like, impactful. So it really surprised you how much yeah. you got into it. What about you, Ayanna? I didn't plan on taking the class. It just <laughs> appeared on my schedule, but I'm glad that I did take it after all because it showed me a creative side of myself that I didn't know was there because I've been more of um, like into athletics. And so I never considered like taking any art classes. And I'm glad I did because um, Ms. Gillette, she taught me a lot um, about different ways to express myself that I could go in there and 
put like my thoughts on a piece of art. So Ayana, tell me about a piece of jewelry you made. I actually made a ring with um, a white stone. It took a lot of steps, like cutting it out, soldering it, making sure that it fit um, properly, making it in my, the way I think perfect would be. <laughs> Angelique, did you have a favorite piece you made? I had a sister that passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. And like, it's weird because always like on her birthday or like special events, we always see a hummingbird. So that's kind of like our symbol that we know she's there. So like that, I made it and it was like really personal and like sentimental to me to be able to like carry something that was her, like always with me. That's really lovely. I think you're so delicate. I was, yeah, like the metal that I picked was really thin, so I had to be careful not to break it when I was cleaning it and stuff, so. What, what do you feel like you learned being in the class that you hadn't even planned to take? <laughs> <laughs> I can like show different parts of me that like I usually don't always get to explore. Like I never thought I'd be able to make jewelry ever. <laughs> but it's really just like a thought process that I thought I saw everything in steps and kind of was able to deconstruct everything that I didn't know that was even possible. <laughs> Ayana, what do you think you took away from the class? My creativity, um, learning to go outside of my comfort zone, trying new things. Um, if it doesn't work, I could always start over or add something that would uh, make it better or make it stand out. And how do you think the jewelry class helped you? I act, well, I got my ideas from like other Native American artists and tried to make something of my own. It's very special and that I get to um, show the significance of what it is to me, how much it means to me, and I get to portray that through my work. Do you think the jewelry class helped you in other aspects of your, your life and your school life? And yeah, like problem solving. If I made the wrong mistake, I had to figure out how I was going to perfect it or fix it, and that things aren't just going to be like made for me. I have to do it myself and come up with um, different steps to fix a solution, like different steps to make a piece. So that's what I got from it. <laughs> I think it just really made me learn how to be a problem solver. It taught me how to like breathe and just kind of work through it without getting so stressed right away. It was like a really big stress reliever for me, I think compared to my other classes that I was taking. I think that's what the jewelry class allowed me to do. It allowed me to be me and just figure out what I needed to do for myself and then kind of work from there. How do you think it's going to prepare you for your future? I mean, do you want to be a forensic pathologist? Yeah. That's so different. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's deconstruction. I think that's what I have to go into steps and figure out how I have to do it. Maybe it's not always how everybody else has to do it, but it's what's going to make it better for me. There's little things like details that you have to really focus in on, and I think that's what's going to help me. Ayanna, I know you have one more year of school. I, I know you're thinking about social work. Do you think kind of exploring this creative side of yourself will be helpful? Yeah, um, just like problem solving, um, how I can do something in the benefit of another person, and just patience because it, I know it's not going to always be easy but I have to take um, steps in order to help another person. It's not just all about myself.